Madrid remain top of the pops over in La Liga, but of course this weekend it's El Clasico. Can they of course beat their bitter rivals? Barcelona, we'll get into it next. Video today, we look forward to match number 29 over in Espana, and we'll get to that. It just was like a few new where you've been. Smash your subscribe to hit your back there. All things Lally related, Bad Rose related, World Football related. We're gonna all here, boys. Under uh, one Ruski. That's right, El Clasico, of course, returns this weekend as, of course, La Liga approaches another international break. We'll talk about what's gonna happen there, and of course, the rest of the games in a second. Of course, big, big shout out to my VIPs, the uh, patrons, guys. Thank you for loving, of course, behind the scenes. You are, of course, the reason there's a smile on my face. That's right, of course, if you want to become the latest member of the Patreon gang, check out that link down below, patreon.com forward slash C. So here we go then, of course, looking forward to uh, the, the next games, but of course, a recap the results last round then, shall we? Atletico Madrid picked up a 2-1 win over Cadiz, that's right, and of course, moving back in the fourth spot, level of boards with Barcelona, as of course, they both, uh, at the minute, compete for third, but of course, don't rule out Barcelona for second at the moment, they are getting closer, just five points to drift with the game in Anna Sevilla, we'll look at the table shortly. Uh, Betis, of course, uh, in that haunt as well for uh, top four, uh, they picked up a win, over Athletic Bilbao, big win, win there. Barcelona with a 4-0 win over Osasuna. I won with a 3-0 win myself. Getafe uh, did draw with Valencia. Look at me, 4-4 four for four so far. Granada, however, uh, slipped up there, of course. Uh, 1-0 win for Elche on the road. Villarreal uh, picked up a win over Celta Vigo. Yes, they did. I won with a 2-2 win myself. Valacano and Sevilla duped out to a 2-2. A 1-1 draw there. Sevilla, of course, uh, in second spot. Bit of a clangor there uh, for them. Meanwhile, Mallorca with a 3-0 loss to Real Madrid. Called it, lads. Absolutely called it. And Sociedad picked up a one over, over Alves. And I called that one as well. Goodness gracious me, look at me. I'm on fire, Levante picked up a draw, yes they did, I called it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, did I get nine, did I get nine there? I think I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Eight out of ten. That's pretty much for fantastic, guys. That's why I am the prediction king. But am I actually the prediction king? Did somebody actually beat me? Uh, we'll take a look at, of course, the table. It looks like this. Of course, uh, Real Madrid 66 points on the board. Ten points clear of a Sevilla. Uh, both those two sides have played 28 times this season. Boston are breathing down the next, kind of. Uh, or at least Sevilla's next. Anyway, Athletic Madrid are in fourth. Down the foot. The Vante going down. It looks like the toast. Alaves could be joining them as well. So could Cadiz uh, with their stay in the uh, top flight under question. But, of course, Mallorca. Granada, also in a bit of uh, trouble, and maybe in Getafe in that uh, bracket as well. But can anybody beat me with a nine piece? Or eight piece. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm not I'm not that fantastic. I'm good. I'm very, very good, but I'm not that good. We're, we're, we're level there. Eight points. I thought I, I actually outfoxed everybody. Well done to everybody. Uh, picking up eight there, just like me, of course, because we are the best. Best in the game. Uh, that's right. And of course, big shout out to the patrons. Much love to you guys. Let's take a look, look at the the mini the mini leaderboard for the second half of the season. Of course, Max Sangardi, of course, 61 points uh, so far for this back end of the campaign. Of course, next time you see me here, of course, for the League of Predictions, we'll bring it bang up to date with of course, the master leaderboard as we enter uh, April for the next round of games. Of course, international break, of course, gives us a chance to rest a little bit and, of course, look forward to maybe some international spicy games. But anyway, if you want to get involved, cut the four shots at Espana, get them amongst it there and then. So these are the next games, including at the bottom of the shop there, the El Clasico. So let's get into the, the top one there, which will be Athletic Bilbao. Take it on Getafe, and that actually kicks off the weekend on Friday, the 18th of March. Now, these two sides have played 33 times since 2004. 11 wins for Bilbao, 9 wins for Getafe, and 13 draws, of course. Just two wins in the past six for Bilbao right now. 32% form up against the Getafe side. Uh, just one win is six for them at the moment. 42% form for them at the moment, of course. Uh, yeah, without a win in five, though, for Getafe. Picking up a lot of draws along the way. Uh, meanwhile, last time the finish over in Bilbao was a 5 1 win. That was back in January 2021. The reverse fixture in Getafe was a 0 0 draw back in December. Coming at you, though, of course, Bilbao did lose to Betis last time around. Getafe picked up a 0 0 draw against Valencia. It's been back to back games, though, without scoring a goal for Getafe. Looking forward on the odds, uh, we have 11 8 on Israel Bilbao, 12 5 Israel draw, and 9 2 Israel Oyman. That's Getafe on this one. I'm going to go with, of course, the home side here. 1 0 win for Bilbao. Getafe still remain in trouble. Kicking off all, though, is Osasuna up against Levante coming at you on Saturday, the 19th of March. Now, these two sides have played 25 times since 1997. 12 wins for Osasuna, 10 wins for Levante, and three draws, of course. Just one defeat to the past four. Sorry, scrap that. One win in the last four for Osasuna, 42% form. Up, uh, up against the Levante side, just one defeat to the past uh, five for them, 50% uh, form for them at the moment. 1 2, lost 2, and drawn 2 over the last six. Of course, last time they played each other over in Osasuna was a 3 1 win. Uh, that was, of course, for Levante back in September 2020. The 
first fixture, though, in Levante. It was a nil-nil draw back in December this season. Uh, Levante, of course, back-to-back uh, -back games without scoring a goal against Osasuna. Uh, and, of course, Kevin Acha, uh, Osasuna with a 4-0 loss against Barcelona. And Levante pick up a draw against Espanyol in the last games. Looking at the odds here, Osasuna 11-10 on for the Richie Founder 2. It's draw and 3-1. It's your uh, long shots. That's, of course, Levante. Going to go with the hosts again here. 2-1 win for them. Uh, back in the bookies on this one with, the, of course, the home win. Kicking off forward, it's uh, Salve up against Perez. Bit of a derby, this bad boy. Uh, of course, coming at you on Sunday, March the 20th. Now, these two sides have played each other uh, 45 times in 1995. 15 wins for Sardavigo, 60 wins for Real Betis, and 14 draws. It's quite tight across the stats there. Of course, just one win in five, though, for Sardavigo. 50% form up against the Real Betis side. Of course, just one win in six of them. 33% form for them at the moment. Bit of a rich, uh, really stinking patch there for Real Betis. Of course, coming at you, though, last time I played each other over in Sardavigo, a 3 2 win for Real Betis. That was back in May 2021. The reverse fixture in Betis was a 2 0 win for Sardavigo. That was, of course, this season. That was only back in January. Yes, it was. Of course, Betis with a, a 1 0 win of a bail bow. Last time around, Sardavigo did uh, take a the L uh, against Villarreal. Uh, of course, one loss there back on the 12th of March. The odds for this one then, what have we got on this? Uh, we've got Sardavigo 5 4 for the victory 2 to 1 is your way, but that's Real Betis and 5 to 2. It's your spicy, spicy. This one, 2 2 for me, right down the middle. Point split. Cannot separate two sides. Can you? Let me know down below uh, about your picks for that one. Kicking it forward to Alaves. Up against Granada. That's right. Coming at you. Seven times they played just in 2016. Two for Alaves. Five for Granada. And uh, zero draws, of course. Just one win in the last six, though, for Alaves. 33% uh, form. Up against the Granada side. Just, uh, ooh, oh my gosh. Haven't picked up a win in the last uh, 10 games. Wow, wow. We've got 8% form. That's relegation form right there. Coming at you, though. Last time out over in Alaves was a 4 2 win for Alaves. That was back in May 2021. They also played each other this season. Actually, back in December. 2 1 was for Granada over in Granada. Uh, Granada coming to us on the back of a loss against Elche. And, of course, uh, Alaves did lose to Sociedad and have been back to back games up scoring a goal for them. Uh, coming at you though, the odds for this one then, what are we looking at here? We're looking at Alaves coming at you, uh, 21 to 20 for the victory, 3 to 1 is your away win, that's Granada, 23 to 10 is your draw. Back in the away side here, Alaves to, 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 to break a, break the jinx, get the win and of course maybe start to move the chains a little bit. Kicking off forward though, Espanol, uh, they're going to be taking on uh, Mallorca coming at you on Sunday, March the 20th. Now these two sides of course locking horns uh, for the 39th time, the previous 38 though, 15 wins for Espanol, 17 wins for Mallorca and 6 draws of course, just one win. And the last 6 for uh, Espanol, 42% form. I guess the uh, Mallorca side have lost five in the bounce. 17% form for them at the moment. Last time around, though, over in, uh, where we're looking at Espanol, it was a nil-nil draw. Goodness gracious me, it's been a while. Uh, since September 2020. Uh, of course, they did play each other earlier in the season. It was a one-nil win. That was on match number three for Mallorca, of course, in uh, in August. They also played each other in the round of 16 in the Cup del Rey. And uh, it was a two-win for Mallorca over in Mallorca yet again. Meanwhile, Mallorca kept it on the back of a three and loss against um, Real Madrid. And, of course, Espanol picking up a one-one draw against Levante. The odds on this one, even Stevens, is Espanol, 3-5 is Mallorca and 5-2 is your draw. But I back the, of course, the home side here. Espanol, 2-1 win for them over Mallorca. Kicking off forward, it is Cadiz up against Villarreal. That's right, coming at you over in Cadiz on Sunday as well. Now these two sides have played each other seven times. Done five, nothing for Cadiz. Three for Villarreal and four draws. Just one win in the last six uh, for Cadiz at the moment. 42% uh, form up against Villarreal. So I just want to feet past six for them. 67% form uh, for them at the moment. Last time around, though, over in Cadiz, there was a nil-nil draw back in October 2020. The reverse mixture this season. Back in October, this camp campaign uh, 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 was a 3-3 draw over in Villarreal. Villarreal beat uh, Celta Vigo last time around. 1-0 uh, it was. Uh, that was, of course, on the 12th of March. And Cadiz uh, picked up a loss against Atletico. Meanwhile, Villarreal taking on Juventus this week. Uh, of course, uh, uh, actually tomorrow or maybe even today, depending on when this video goes out, they're taking on Juventus. So a bit of a, um, uh, you know, a something on their mind that might cause them some problems here. But 7-2 is your Cadiz. 5-2 is your draw. 5-4 on is your Villarreal. They're expected to win this weekend. 2 to win for them to take it into the international break. Uh, next up, of course, we have Elche. They're going to be looking at against Valencia on Saturday, the 19th of March. Now, these two sides play each other seven times in turn 13. Two for Elche, five for Valencia, and zero draws. 1-3, one, three, lost three, of course, for Elche. At the moment, 50% form. Up against the Valencia side, unbeaten the last four. Pick up three wins and a draw. 58% form over the last six. Coming at you, though, last time around. In Elche, it was a, a 4 0 win for Val uh, Scrap. That was a 2 1 win for Valencia back in October. Uh, sorry, 2 1 win for Elche back in, of course, October 2020. The reverse fixture, though, in Valencia back in December was a 2 1 win for Valencia this season. Elche with a 1 0 win over Granada. Of course, uh, Valencia with a 0 0 draw against Getafe on this one. The odds for this one Elche 90 to 10 for the victory 20 to 20. Is your Valencia 9 4? Is your quite tight across the bookies on this one? Uh, I'm going to go with a 1 0 win, though, for Valencia to nick it on the road on this one. Sevilla taking on, of course, Real Sociedad. A bit of a zinger zinger on Sunday. Uh, now these two sides up each other 45 times in 1984. 19 wins for Sevilla, 14 wins uh, for uh, Sociedad and 12 draws. Of course, just one defeat past six for Sevilla, 58% form. Meanwhile, Sociedad winning three and losing one in the last four, 50% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around over in Sevilla, it was a 3-2 win for Sevilla back in January 2021. 
reverse fixture though in Sociedad was a nil-nil draw back in September. Uh, Sociedad picking up a one-on-one over Alaves, of course, Sevilla picking up a draw against Vallecano. On this one though, the odds 11 to 10 on is just Sevilla, 9 to 4 is draw, and 3 to 1 is your away win. Back, of course, the host here, 3 1 win against my boys. Sociedad taking the L on this one. Real Vallecano, uh, they're going to be locking horns up against Atletico Madrid coming at you on Saturday. Uh, now, these two sides, that pitched 25 times in 1984, 4 wins for Vallecano. We've got uh, 16 wins for Atletico and 5 draws, of course. Vallecano, though, haven't won in the last six. In fact, they haven't, lost, uh, they haven't won in the last eight. Goodness gracious me, 17% form for them at the moment. Meanwhile, Atletico winning uh, or unbeaten in the last five. Up get three wins on the spin, 75% form for them at the moment. Last time I pitched, though, in Vallecano was a 1 win for Atletico. And in fact, Atletico have beaten Vallecano over the last five occasions and haven't conceded the goal against them. Wow, wow, we well. Meanwhile, Vallecano with a draw against Sevilla. Of course, Atletico with a 2 1 win over Cadiz. Uh, the odds for this one, though, what are we looking at? Uh, what are we looking at? Vallecano 14 to 5 for the victory, 23 to 10 is your draw. 20 to 10, 21 to 20 is your away win. Uh, so, uh, Atletico fancied on this one, going to go with a 2 1 win for them on this one. And then, of course, the best, the tell last. Of course, it's El Clasico, that's right, uh, Real Madrid against Barcelona, of course, over at the Bernabeu. Played each other 75 times in 1984. 24 wins for Real Madrid, 32 wins for Barcelona, and we've got 19 draws. Barcelona, though, coming into this un un unbeaten in the last uh, six games, 92% form, winning five of the last six. Meanwhile, Real Madrid winning for the last five on the go, 83% uh, form for them at the moment. Of course, last time I played each other over in the Bernabeu, it was a 2 1 win for Real Madrid back in April 2021, around about this time last season, give or take. Of course, they also played each other this season at the Camp Nou. Uh, it was a 2 1 win for Real Madrid back in October. They also played each other in the Super Cup. Real Madrid won that one as well. So Real Madrid winning actually five on the bounce against Barcelona. Wow, wow, we were. Can they make it a six, Pete? We'll see about that. Of course, right, Real Madrid pick up a 3 0 win over Mallorca last time around. Barcelona with a 4 0 win over Osasuna. And I've also got Champions League action as well this week. Spicy, spicy, Real Madrid already through. Can, uh, well, it's not Champions League. They've got Europa League, haven't they? They've got Europa League. They've got their NIF NAF League. Uh, but of course, the odds for this one Barcelona are actually 11 to 5. They're actually 11 to 10 is Real Madrid. Now 14 to 5 is your draw. Get it back, my Madrid here, 3 to win. But goals in it. Very, very spicy. And of course, the big W for Real Madrid. Edging closer to another title. That's, of course, my take on it. Be sure to get involved. Cutley Force Shots Espana. Hopefully, we'll see you back. Of course, next time you see me, it'll be after the international break. But until then, dudes, we'll see you soon for the next one. Smash your thumbs up. Smash your subscribe if you want to help us out. Join, the, of course, the Patreon. That'll be uh, much appreciated. Of course, give us a bit of a boost as we enter, of course, the, the business end of the season. But again, if you want to sit here as well, as a well, not necessarily here, but on Zoom, and of course, be my face of the place for La Liga, get involved with me uh, on Twitter or message me somehow, somewhere. But until then, guys, we're done for now.